All right, welcome to episode six of the Collect Your Life podcast. We've had some technical difficulties on today. Um, I hope you guys can hear me. If you are in the comments, please let me know. Um, and I really believe this topic is needed and um, the enemy is really trying it. He doesn't want it to be heard to the masses. So if you can, if you're here live in Facebook land, please type in the comments that you're here, that you can hear me so I can move forward. Um, if you're watching this, uh, the replay on Facebook, we appreciate you, um, coming and joining us. And I got a yes that we're good. Okay, great. And then if you are also, you know, going back and listening to this on Apple Podcasts or you're listening on Spotify or you're watching the replay on YouTube, we appreciate all your support. We appreciate you guys. This, again, is episode six of the Collect Your Life Incorporated podcast. I am your host, founder, owner of Collect Your Life Incorporated, and I am so appreciative to of you for being here um like i said before the enemy real mad about this topic uh because it's been this is like the third time third time's the charm and i'm not um where i want to be financially you know i haven't made it to millionaire status so i'm not able to have a team with me so it's just me myself and i and I have to, you know, work it how I work it. So, but I appreciate uh, the continued support of everyone who follows and supports Collect Your Life Incorporated. So, he really is trying it. The devil really be, try be trying us out here. Like, he really trying it on this, on this good old Friday. But, because we talking about comparison. And he knows if you truly know not to compare, that you're not gonna fall in his plans, that's why he that's why he trying it today. So, but I'm gonna try to give you the short inversion again. Um, like I was doing before. Again, I wanna shout out Elevated Creations for this, you know, shirt. I'm going to see if I can tag them in the comments. Elevated Creations, they made this holy spirit activate shirt and when i tell you it is so cute um i really appreciate it i hope they keep letting me tag them in it Oh, maybe it did. Okay, so I tagged them in the comments. So again, Holy Spirit, activate, activate, just like the famous TikTok that the woman did. Um, I like to shout out uh, small business owners because as they're small business, I am too. So I appreciate uh, this shirt. Um, it's very comfy. I love it. And it has uh, different colors on it. So I was able to, you know, play with colorful earrings and everything on it so i appreciate this shirt um so we're gonna go ahead and jump in into the podcast for today so like i was saying um collect your life incorporated is a bi-weekly podcast and we are looking at comparison on today and this is a topic like i said that the enemy really don't want us to talk about because again this is the third time of this video but we're gonna keep moving forward let me go ahead and set my timer because um i don't want to prolong time prolong the time any longer than supposed to or need it be so I'm going to try to I'm going to try my best to keep it under this time limit that I have on my timer. So, like I was saying, we were talking about 
comparison. The scripture that I referenced and that really resonated with me as I was looking over and studying and thinking about comparison, just reflecting on my life and everything, I said, let me add some scripture to it. And so we have 1 Corinthians 4 and 7. And for you um, saints who want the version, I'm sorry, I don't have it. May the Lord bless you. It's 1 Corinthians 4 and 7. And you can still, it's still going to say the same thing. Might just be a different version, but I don't know the exact version that I have. So please forgive me, saints. Um, when we compare ourselves to others, we are agreeing with the plans of the enemy for our lives. Comparison is the thief of joy and the stretcher of truth. Wow, that's a lot right there. It's a lot of good nuggets in this just one scripture. Comparison says, I am ill-equipped. For the task at hand. The truth is God has given me everything I need for the plans he has set before me. So, um, wow, that scripture collected my life and it's collecting it again because now I got a new revelation about it. Um, but that scripture really, you know, resonated with me. And let me just put my disclaimer out here because um, I just want the people to know I am not an expert in I'm, I'm not a mental health um professional i'm not that but i am someone who has collected her life you know in different instances so we're just talking this is a transparent place where you can feel feel safe to talk about different topics that have gone on so we can use it as a sense of community use it as a place where you can grow because I'm talking to myself first um, in this because even today, we, well, this week, I'll say I was comparing um, in the last month I've been comparing. So let me just be honest, like it's hard sometimes not to compare uh, yourself, your life, your your, you know, things and everything. So when. um what I was saying before, I feel like I've been comparing my whole life. So um, just real short, real quick, to the point. Um, growing up, I was insecure. And so I would compare myself. I was like the only black or maybe one of two black girls in the class. So it was Caucasian, only, uh, you know, mostly uh, classes that I was in growing up, elementary school, middle school. Um, up until high school, it was a culture shock because I was the majority, not the minority anymore. So um, when I was in school, like the other black girl was always the prettier one and always the one that everyone gravitated to. Oh, 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 my God, she's so pretty, <laughs> you know, and I got all the attention and got all the everything. And so I was insecure and I was like, compare myself. Oh, I wish I could be, I wish I could be like this person, like literally pouting. I wish I could be like that person. I wish I could be like that person. And that was like, as a child growing up and we didn't have social media like kids do today. So I'm pretty sure I know kids. It's harder for them even now to want to be, you know, like somebody or that person posts this picture. Oh, she's really cute. You know, and I just want to be cute like that. So, um, then moving into, like I said, moving into, um, when I got married, um, I was ready to have a child. Like I was like, Lord, I kept myself, I'm pure and you know, I've been pure. Um, and so I keeping myself into, kept myself into marriage and I want to, you know, I want to, I'm working, I'm a planner at, by, at heart. Like I plan ahead. Like I don't wait to, I, I don't like last minute stuff unless it has to be. And so like, that's why today with these glitches in the technical stuff really was getting under my skin, but I was like, Holy spirit activate. Like what my shirt says, I had to really say that to be honest, if I'm being honest, because I was about to, after the second time say, you know what, maybe this don't need to be heard. Maybe the people don't really care, you know, or whatever. Cause I ain't got no team. I'm not, you know, Sarah Jakes Roberts. I'm not nobody else. I'm Janessa A. Henderson. I'm me. But, and it's just me working my equipment the best way I can. 
But so I was like, well, maybe I shouldn't even worry about this podcast today. Maybe just say it's postponed, you know, recorded and gone on. But it was something that just kept saying, keep recording, keep going. So um, when I got married, I was I'm planning my heart. I was like, I want this to work. I want it to work like this. I want to have a child by 25. Well, not by 25, but I was like, okay, I should be pregnant by 25 because I got married at 24. I should be pregnant by 25 and all this. And it should work like this. And everything thank you i'm trying to do an amazing job i got good people supporting me in the comments so um then um it didn't happen like i wanted it to it happened like years later like literally five years in that's when i got pregnant five about going on six years in is when i got pregnant with my daughter and i had her but it all happened for a reason and but i was comparing myself before I was like they got married the same time we did around the same time like a few months before or a month after or they got married like a year after us and they already got two kids they already got three kids they already got 12 kids. you know not really 12 lord I hope not but they had a whole bunch of folks had kids well before I did and I was just comparing 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 and like the scripture says comparison is the thief of joy And my joy literally was gone, stolen. The devil stole it, like the stretcher of the truth. Like, and it was, had me in my mind thinking that I couldn't conceive, that it was something wrong with me and it was something crazy. You know, fibroids, well, maybe that's why I got fibroids. Or why I gotta have fibroids? Like, why couldn't she have fibroids? Why, you know, it was just so much comparison. So then when I got pregnant, I was, uh, I kind of relinquished the idea, like I said, I relinquished the idea of getting pregnant, and then that's when I ended up pregnant. Like, when I let it go and gave it to God, that's when I actually got pregnant. And so then, when I got, after I had my daughter, and um, I was trying to breastfeed after having postpartum and all this stuff was going on, I was comparing myself to people who who could breastfeed, and it was just the thief of joy, the stretch of truth. Because like the scripture says in 1 Corinthians uh, 4 and 7, the comparison is the thief of joy in the stretch of truth. I was sitting up here saying, well, I'm not nowhere near good of a mother. Karen's not going to, you know, my daughter, she's not going to um, like me or whatever. I was just really downing myself. And that was in, in coupled with, postpartum depression but there was also comparison and you cannot compare you cannot get in your mind of that comparison and like I think the age of social media has evolved so much and it's good to reconnect it's good to have those people because that's how really like I keep up with high school friends that's how I keep up with you know students that I've taught in the past like that's how social media is good and also it can be a curse because you can look at somebody post their their mates or their um wedding or their this and their their house and their promotion their this and of course you're generally happy for them but then you're like oh man we're the same age or they younger than me why is it that you know they are moving ahead more than me like i literally was thinking this um if you know me you know um, if you know me, there's people on here that have known me my whole life. So growing up from second grade until college, even just recently, I was going to law school. Even as a teacher, as in my I've been teaching for 10 years, I was saying in the class, I'm going to law school. I'm going to law school. That was my goal. That was what I wanted to do. It wasn't what I was supposed to do. It wasn't my the will for my life. But and so I was I looked at people who are younger than me, like people who like 10, maybe not 10, Lord, they, because I'm I'm still young out here. But maybe people who were like five years younger than me already in law school. And I was just like, wait, what's wrong with me? What am I doing? And so I was really, let me put my, put my timer on because I don't want to run out of time. So I was really stressing out because I thought, am I still on? Are y'all hearing me? Can everyone hear me? 
Oh, okay. It just felt like I froze or something. So I really thought that, um, I really thought that I was doing something wrong. Like in my career, um, as a teacher, even when I accepted the finally in year nine of teaching, accepted the calling to teach and to continue teaching and stay in education, I was still like, well, they're doing, I got a whole master's. I can do this. I can do that and everything. So I was just like, well, what, what is it? Why am I comparing myself? And I had to get out of my mind, even going through this divorce this last year, I was like, well, why did I have to be divorced? Why did I have to do this? And I was just, you know, just complaining, complaining. And you go back to the scripture and the scripture gets you together every time. And it says the, when we compare ourselves to others, we are agreeing with the plans of the enemy for our lives. So you're agreeing to, and the, you already know the, the plan for the enemy is not for you to prosper. It's not for you to do well. It's for you to be in that negative Nancy state. It's for you to be in that negative uh, place in your life. It's not for you to keep going. It's not for you to have anything to, to steal, kill, and destroy you. That's what the enemy wants to do to you. So when you're comparing, you're not aligned. You're not in the will of God. You not where God wants you to be. God wants you to prosper and be in good health. That is all like for the plans I have for you. Uh, Jeremiah 29 and 11. I, I'm not quoting the scripture off the top of my head because I don't want to mess up. And I got some good saints in here who might come, um, come for me in the comments or come for me on Apple music. So I'm just going to tell you where to go. Jeremiah 29 and 11 for the plans that I have for you. He doesn't for you to prosper. It is not for you to be dead out here. And that's what the devil wants to kill you. So when you compare, you agreeing with the devil. That's like, why are you in agreement with the enemy? It's not what you need to be in agreement with. And even like, y'all, this, this past year, I had to get out of comparing too. Like I was thinking about, um, my dad passed it, it at the end of August. And I was thinking about comparing like other people like, well, they daddy wasn't even, you know, they daddy ain't even probably leaving right. You know, I was just thinking that. And it was just a lot. Like, why couldn't I have my daddy as long as they had their daddy? Or why couldn't they have, I mean, I couldn't have more time or this, but it wasn't what I was supposed to go through. That is shaping me. It's still, it's because it's still fresh. It's shaping me into the woman I'm supposed to be. It's propelling me into my to more purpose. I don't know what exactly because it ain't been revealed, but it was for a reason. It all happened for a reason. And also another thing, another note, just put a pin in it. My daddy prayed to leave. He prayed. He didn't want to, he didn't want to be a bother to us with his dementia, he did not. So he prayed and the Lord granted his request. So daddy was up there, you know, him and Jesus was tight because he didn't pray and the Lord honored his request. So a lot of times we want to hold on to our family members and they are suffering. And yes, they want to stay with us, but they would rather be on the other side in peace and glory. Um, I don't know why I was led to say that, but that's just, I was comparing, like, if I was like comparing, like these people, Lord, why couldn't it be, you know, you know, and you have to get that out of your mindset. Um, and like I said, with my daughter, and this is the last one comparison that I'm going to do. My daughter has development of the legs. Uh, there's no diagnosis, but just development of the legs. She was a premature baby. I de dealt with a lot of emotional stress. Phys stress, capital stress, all the caps for stress, um, for, um, what is it during, during the pregnancy from when I say from month, when I found out I was pregnant until I had her and after I was dealing with stress, all the caps. Okay. That's probably when my blood pressure went up and that's when I had her and had preeclampsia because I was dealing with a lot. Um, which 
I'll reveal it another time. But so I was comparing like her development. I was comparing her to other kids and people were like, is she walking yet? No, she's not. And I would get defensive because I'm like, this is my child. Like, don't sit up here and, you know, try to come for my child. And I had to get in my mind. I'm like comparing Carrie Danielle, which is my daughter, to another child because she's going to arrive where she needs to arrive in the time she's going to arrive, in the time she's supposed to. Because I had to think of it like this. This is Carrie's testimony. This is Carrie's journey. Just like I have a testimony uh, that's still unfolding, a journey that I'm on. And like I was comparing my divorce to this and divorce, and not just divorce, but just my career. And like this person that elevated, they a whole principal and I'm still a teacher 10 years in. I got more experience than you do. But you had a whole, you know, you had a whole principalship or, you know, what admin position. And I'm sitting up here still in the classroom, in the trenches out here. So I was just like really comparing myself, but I had to get out of it. I had to understand that we are all on a different journey. We all got our own street or road or whatever you want to call it. I'm thinking of a dirt road. I'm from the country. So I'm thinking of a dirt road. We all on the dirt road, our own dirt road. And nobody else can cross your path. Nobody can else can take your blessings. Nobody else can take what you are, what God has for you. And you can't take what somebody else, what somebody else has because that's theirs. So I had to get that in my mind about my child. Like she is going to be okay. I have the faith. She won't have developmental delays for her whole life. It's just for a season. And it's just just like I had to think it was just for a season that I wasn't getting pregnant. It was just for a season that I wasn't progressing like I wanted to progress in my career. So you have to understand it is a part of your whole journey. I would have never thought I would be sitting here getting a doctoral degree with everything I've had going on. But when I get it, when I get that dissertation done and when I'm finished, I am definitely going to shout. Uh, across the stage but I am going to make sure that I am not comparing myself because I was even in my doctoral program I was like why is it becoming so easy for this person and they you know this and I should just be out you know you are happy for them but again that comparison it'll come in and get you like looking at this it's the thief of joy it'll take away your joy I'm just going back to the scripture because the scripture is what we got basis. First Corinthians four and seven. If you just coming in again, comparison is a thief of joy in the stretcher of truth. Comparison says I am ill equipped for the task at hand. And at, at this week and last week, I was saying this, I was really saying this about this doctoral program. I was about to be like, you know what? I did it. All right, Lord. Goodbye. I'm going to quit, like being transparent with you because it's a lot of stuff going on. And I was just like, you know what? It's every opposition coming at me this week, like especially last week and this week. I feel like, okay, Jesus, am I Jesus? Lord, did you make me? You know, I feel like all the nails in my hand, all everything. I felt crucial. And I said, well, who am I not to be like this? Who am I not to go through this season? Because... The Lord Jesus came and was crucified for my sins. So why can't I be crucified, crucified myself, deny myself and bless me and let God fill, fill me up. So if if I want to be refined in this moment, then I'm going to have to let go. I'm going to have to let go. And again, the truth is God has given me everything I need for the plans he has set before me. So everything I need. He has already given it to me. Every every piece of knowledge he's given me, everything I'm supposed to have, he's given it to us. And so I just want um everyone to understand that comparison again is the thief of joy and I am so thankful that you guys decided to come on the live, you decided to watch us on YouTube afterwards or you decided to 
uh, listen to us on Apple Podcasts or you decided to listen to us on Spotify, we appreciate it. We do not take it lightly. Every support, everything. And the last thing I'm going to say is sometimes we compare how others support others. And you support them and they don't support you like you support them, but they support others way better, way better. I'm sorry. So you have to get that together too. That's who they're supposed to support. If they don't support you, don't, don't let it hurt you. Like I'm looking at the numbers that I've had, you know, from the beginning and I started and then from otherwise it may have dwindled down. I'm not going to let that stop me from doing this. I'm not going to let it stop me from Collect Your Life podcast every other Friday. I'm not going to let it stop me because what it was, what was placed in me and God has already stated before me. So I can't stop. Even if it looks desolate, even if it looks like I don't know how I'm going to make it, I'm going to still keep moving forward. So you got to keep moving forward. You got to uh, not compare because again, you don't want it to steal your joy. You don't want it to be the stretcher of truth. You want to make sure that you are not comparing others. You're not comparing because that means, again, you're in agreement. You're in agreement with what the enemy has, which is to steal, kill, and destroy you. And that's not what you want. I appreciate you guys for listening. We apologize for the technical difficulties but like i said this topic was so hot this topic was so good that the enemy really didn't want us to play it because at first i was going to be like well now it it just keeps stopping it keeps messing me up and i just don't have time but here we are and we appreciate you and again get you a shirt from elevated uh creations it's a small business but they're booming out here with these shirts because this is nice holy spirit activate 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 you gotta activate because i had to do that tonight i said well i'm glad i had the right shirt on um so i can actually activate the holy spirit out here so make sure you get you a shirt from elevated creations if you're uh on facebook i tag them in the uh comments i think i tagged the right people if not um bless whoever i tag um so thank you guys and good night